Now you might have noticed that when we added a paragraph, it created a fairly large space. We can see a fairly wide gap between the first, second, and third line. It actually double spaced the lines of text. What if we only wanted a single line break? Well, for that, we'd have to use a break tag. To begin, type a block of text nested within a paragraph tag. We will then separate this block of text using a line break. Now we have the lines typed. We want to separate line 1 from line 2. So to do that, we'll go ahead and type a break tag, or enter a break tag. Now you'll notice that the break tag does not require a closing break tag. Now let's go ahead and save the file and preview it in our browser. So we can see that line one is separated from line two, and the gap is much smaller using the line break tag versus the paragraph tag. Now let's talk about the spacing between characters. Say we wanted to add a third block of text. So we'll go ahead and enter it in. We want to place this line of text five spaces away from sentence two on the same line. Let's see what happens when we add five spaces in our HTML code with the spacebar and preview it in our browser. So I've entered five spaces. I'm going to save the file and I'm going to preview it to see if the spaces show up in our web browser. And as we can see here, only one space was registered. HTML ignores spaces, and this process is called white space collapsing. Spaces created by the spacebar, the tab key, and return key are all ignored when you write your code. One way to add additional spaces is to add the following tag where you require your space. Your web browser interprets this tag as a single space. It's the equivalent of pressing the space bar once on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and copy this tag and just uh, paste it four more times. So we're trying to register five spaces. Now save your document and once again preview it. And now we can see that we have five spaces between line one, uh, sorry, between line two and line three. So that is how you enter single spaces in your HTML document. The header tag allows you to create emphasized text such as titles or headings. Header tags come in different sizes depending on the level of emphasis you require. Let's insert a few headers in our document 
under our existing text items. To insert a header, we'll start with the open header tag. The one value represents the size of the header. The smaller the value, the larger the header. We'll insert a few more just to see some of the different sizes available. Now let's save our file and take a look at the changes in our web browser. So here we can see our four headers. Notice that header one within the H1 open and close tag is the largest. Header two, header three, and header four, which is the smallest. In this lesson, we're going to be working with formatting text, making text bold, italic, underlined, and other formatting options. Let's start with creating a text element and making it bold. We'll start by creating a new paragraph under our last header. Now to make this text bold, we would add the following tags around the text we just typed. Strong, that's a strong open tag, and a corresponding strong close tag. Now let's save this file and take a look at it in our web browser. So this is what the bold text looks like. Now we want a second line of text uh, directly under this bold text line. So using the tab key, you can indent just to keep the format of your clone, uh, code clean and organized. This next text element, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna make it italic. To make it italic, you use the EM, EM, sorry, tag. And the EM tag does have a corresponding close tag. Now remember, if we want, if we want uh, this italic text line directly under the bold text line, we need to add a line break. And we'll add another break here because right underneath this, we're going to add an underlined text, which is created with the U tag. We can also insert a strike through our text using the strike tag. It also has a corresponding closing strike tag. So let's take a look at what this looks like so far.
So here we can see we have our bold text, italic text, underlined, and strike through text. That's what it looks like in the browser. Now let's go ahead and just add another break. For this next line, we're going to combine a variety of different formatting options together. So let's type the text first. So we want to apply, we want to make this line of text bold, italic, and underlined. So we'll begin by adding all our tags. We can start with any, the order doesn't matter. So we'll start with italics and we'll create the close the closing tag at the end. So as you can see, the, the, the tags must be closed in the same order they were opened. And I'll save that. And so there it is. We have a line of text that's bold, italic, and underlined. Another way of formatting text is known as inline text formatting. Note that this is an outdated way of formatting your text. In the next section, we'll be using CSS to format text and other HTML elements. CSS is a much more efficient way of formatting text and offers a much higher degree of format customization. For this exercise, we'll change the format of header four using inline text formatting. We'll apply a font phase, change the font size, and apply a different color. In order to do that, we're going to start with the open font tag. The font tag has different attributes. One of the attributes is the font face. We'll apply the Arial font to this text. The next attribute is the size. And we can plug in any numerical value here. And the font color is another attribute. We'll change the color to blue. Next, we'll just add the closing font tag. And this is known as inline text formatting. So let's go ahead and save the file and preview the file in our browser. And there it is. We can see the header is much larger. It's now blue. And the font face is different than the other headers. It's Arial. 